everyone, this quick video, I'm going to show you something that I think is incredibly useful uh, on your iPad when you're taking photos, and that is being able to crop a photo uh, and then maybe share it uh, or give it to you yourself rather than emailing it to share it um, to your computer or to your laptop um, via AirPlay, by Bluetooth, which is a really, really simple thing to do. So here I am. I've got a photo here. I'm in my camera roll. Um, and I want to crop the photo. Um, I don't like the, the things at the edge here, so I'm going to click on Edit up in the top corner there. And you can see down the bottom here, the second one from the left, you've got this kind of little square image there. If I click on that, I can rotate the image if I want. I can reset this at any time, so I could rotate the image. I can zoom into the image. Um, just click on Reset, so I can zoom in. Or you can see around the edges, and it's sometimes a little bit hard to see these little um, brackets around the edges. Now if I just drag those in, you can see as I go it crops the image that I've taken. So it's just focused on this new bookcase that we've got here. And I can always go reset and back to the way it was before, but I just want my picture to have that. Let's just crop it in a little bit more. That looks good. Okay. Um, I can do a number of other things. I can uh, add some filters on there. I can change the brightness and the color, the black and white thing. I can move this photo into another app like Skitch, which will enable me to then mark up the app and uh, put um, titles on it and text on it, all that sort of thing. But for now, I'm just um, I'm just concentrating on the crop thing. So I've done the crop. I could reset it if I want, but I think it looks great. I don't. I could uh, rotate it around here. If you look down the bottom left, I could rotate my image as well. But I'm just going to leave it like that, and I'm just going to click done. So now my original image has become this one here. Fabulous. Now I want to, I've done it on my iPad, I then want to maybe post it uh, somewhere. I want to work on it further on my laptop or on my desktop. So I'm going to click the square with the arrow going out. Uh, and you can see I've got a few images here. So let's say I want to choose these last two. And you can see that if you've got um, Bluetooth turned on, you can see that my iMac also pops up here in this tap to share with AirDrop option. So if I just select that, and if you look on the iMac screen, I've got a message here that AirDrop, I received two photos. So and they go to my downloads folder. And now I've got the photos on my iMac and I can um, work with them from there. So incredibly helpful, I think, that uh, ability to take a photo and to be able to crop it within the camera app on your iPad uh, and then be able to send it off to your laptop.